Hi, here you can see what we're going to do today. It's a little tip calculator. Pretty easy, pretty basic stuff. But it's just to show you how to make apps, how to use scenes in Tasker. And okay, let's jump right into it and open up Tasker. And go f first thing to do, go into the preferences and tick off the beginner mode. We don't want that. And once that's done, go back to the home screen and long tap the house on the bottom left. At uh, hit add and add a new project. Let's call it tip calculator because that's what we're going to do. And once we're there in the project go to scenes and make a new scene. Let's just call it something like tip and calculator or some abbreviation of that. And once that's done let's hit up the properties in the upper right and change the property type to activity because that's what a normal app would be. Uh, go into the uh, geometry and make it something really big so it fills the whole screen. It, it will adjust later itself. Choose the background color. Uh, color. Just make it uh, not transparent. Just choose some light uh, gray color. Maybe the action bar style. Change it to light. That's not too important. It's uh, just for the looks later. And then give the whole app a title you want to see later in the app on the top. Just call it tip calculator hit the upper left and go back to the scene and there we can hit the magnifying glass on the lower right and then hit add and we want to add a text field but we want to have the text edit field because that's where we're going to do the input later where the numbers go in the, the, the money we need to pay and then um, just change this is just for, for the looks of it just change the text size uh, make the color something like dark and that's it for now um, now you got the text edit field you can edit it with uh, drag and drop gestures it doesn't work too well with my phone right now so you can also choose on the button left the resize option and you can make it pretty accurate by yeah hitting the buttons and uh, that's it and now we need another field to show later on the um, results. Just take a normal text field, maybe change the name to something like result. And from there on it's not too much to do. We need to specify the text we want to show. Uh, therefore we need to take a variable and we're just going to call it tip calc result. And that's actually what's going to be shown there later as a tip calculator result and yeah you can change the text size and also you can make the text a little bit more fancy call it something like a total and then add a dollar sign or something a space don't forget the space and then what else can be done let me see yeah that's actually what you should do there. The text color can be changed to something dark so it's readable on the light background. And back to the scene edit, just uh, move and resize the new text field. Just switch back to normal, hit the other field, the text edit field, and go to text changed. So if the text changed, we want to make a variable. Um, we want to set the variable we, we just made in the text field. Uh, we, we called it something like uh, tip calc result. It uh, unfortunately doesn't show up in the variable select field right now, so we have to manu manually input it because it, uh, Tasker needs to uh, yeah recalculate what's there and what's net not there. And we didn't actually call any of the scene stuff yet, so uh, we have to do it manually now and go on later. Okay. So uh, once that's done, um, choose the uh, value you want to. We, we get the new well. It's a value you, you get whenever you change the value of the text edit field. Then add a new value times a tenth. So we get the uh, uh, tip we want to have. And once that is done, go back, leave the scene, and go to tasks and then make a task called open tip calc and actually that's about it go to no, not yet go to scene and choose uh, show scene and there we have to select the tip calc 
scene and then display it as activity uh, we want to choose the full display one and the untick the show exit button because we don't need it it's an activity it's not needed so what I do now is I close the ta I close tasker and reopen it so everything gets uh, recalculated and then you can open up the app and you see that and just input some numbers and you see it works pretty well yeah that's basically it and as you can see it doesn't look that pretty now we, we still got the wrong keyboard and that's what we're gonna go uh, change next um, but basically basically we're done that's it that's the app you made um, but let's go back um, to the scene and we're gonna edit the input field and I just noticed there's an input type you can change it to a numeric integer integer or decimal and I should have chosen decimal you see later and what I also do is I change the property of the whole field so you, you notice whenever I hit up the edit field it, uh, the keyboard pops up and everything moves up and we don't see what's relevant so I made the whole thing smaller but this is just for the looks of it the functionality is already pretty much there so next we re resize the fields the text fields how you want to have it and then let's close the scene editor again and go back to tasks open up the open tip calc test and hit um oh let's first add like um the focus focus we want to whenever the thing opens we want to have the focus right there and just select our scene let's the tip call calc one and set the focus to the input field and set set so once that is done um add a little weight because we uh, this needs to be done to show the let makes the keyboard pop up right then just add a new action called uh, how's it called it's called soft keyboard and that's it now hits the little play button on the button left and there we go you see now the keyboard pops up automatically and we can input numbers you see one thing I can't hit the comma right now or the point so that's the mistake I made before with the uh, integer instead of choosing the decimal. So I go back to the scene editor and there I choose the input field and change the keyboard layout to where is it? Uh, the input type to numeric uh, decimal. So once that's done go back to the scene and the tasks and open up the task we made just play it and there you go we just finished our first not too bad looking app I mean it's it's pretty basic but that's it it's you can export it as a standalone app and yeah be a developer with tasker I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial if uh, if I'm doing it fast, let me know. I, I tend to speak too fast and not clear, but uh, yeah.